Welcome. So in this case, we have y equals negative 4. Um, and what we're going to want to do, again, is we say, well, is this in really in slope-intercept form? It's y equals, but I don't have any number. I don't have an x. All I have is my negative 4, which will represent my y-intercept. So we can determine that the y-intercept in this case is going to be at 0 comma negative 4. However, the problem is, what is our slope? We don't have any number that's being multiplied by x, and we don't even have an x. So how could, what, could I be, what could my slope possibly be that would eliminate my x? And the only answer that we have would be 0, because 0 times x is going to be 0. And 0 plus your y-intercept is going to leave me with a negative 4. So I can rewrite this as y equals 0 times x minus 4. That's going to be the exact same equation. But I write it like this so I can understand and see that my slope is going to equal 0. Now, what we've talked about, when our slope equals 0, we know that we're going to have a horizontal line. So let's go and take a look at, then, our graph, because we do have a y-intercept that we can plot. Our y-intercept is at 0 comma negative 4. So I'm going to go down negative 4 on my y-axis and plot that point. Now, if I'm going to create a horizontal line at 0 comma negative 4, I know that no matter what value I pick for x, I'm always going to have a y value of negative 4. Doesn't matter which one, because I'm creating a horizontal line. Because remember, when your slope is 0, that creates a horizontal line. So I'll just create a horizontal line going through my y-intercept of 0 comma negative 4. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how you graph your y-intercept. Or I'm sorry, your horizontal line in slope-intercept form. Thanks.